Okay, this is a kind of sound that is very typical of me, you know? When I start to have an idea about the painting, I start to make a lot of sketches. And then when I see that uh, I'm not able to work uh, further on, on just the sketches, I need to start to translate the sketches in 3D, in three dimensions. For example, this one is the portrait of Robert Johnson, you know, he was one of the first bluesmen, you know. I was thinking, let's try to, let's try to reconstruct his face, you know, because there are just two pictures that have been taken during his lifetime, you know. And so from these two pictures, I was able to reconstruct this face, you know, and then I used this face for three, four paintings I made, you know. Now one thing I would like to do is to transform this face into a 3D model which I can animate also, you know. Practically almost every time now I'm using the computer, you know. I started to use uh, the 3D long, long time ago, since the 92, 93, I think, because uh, that kind of stuff is so similar to what the Renaissance painter, painters were doing at the beginning of the 15th century. It's unbelievable when you see some drawings of Piero della Francesca or Paolo Uccello, how much they are similar to what you can do with a wireframe. Oh, I need the other leg, so I call my, my wife for that leg. This is my wife again for this part. Then this is another person, is in Italy. And then I got her for the face, you know. And so I'm combining all these different pieces together, you know. And then I'm creating the painting based on all these different pieces, you know. But uh, I have to adapt them on the painting. I don't trace these things on the painting, you know. I just adapt all this information. What I'm interested about, you know, is the kind of mythology we are constantly creating day by day, you know. The artist is to give the ultimate image to a process of creation of mythology, you know, that is usually starting through narrative, you know, it's starting to, from, from literature, from movies, comic books. It can't be just the effort of one person creating a mythology. It's a collective process, you know, and it's made by the whole society, practically. The only problem is that in the last uh, century, painting and sculpture has been, hasn't been allowed to do that, you know. Modernists killed figurative painting, the function of figurative painting into our society.